Yes, SCJ generate and use propaganda extensively. They even have their own broadcast station and newspaper. Famous one is Chunji Ilbo, the name of this is the name of the newspaper. Although they deny their relationship between SCJ and that newspaper, Mahili mentioned that name during the service, so there's a proof for that. This is a definite proof. One example of how they use it for propaganda was about the plasma donation. When COVID-19 broke in SCJ Daegu Church, there were more than 4,000 people who were infected. SCJ thought this would make their image bad among the citizens, so they did the plasma donation. Actually, the leadership of SCJ commended members to do so. After the donation, they did extensive broadcasts about SCJ Daegu members donating their plasma. They do care about public opinion and even manipulate it. Also, H2PIA. SCJ used H2PIA as a front organization. Same, they deny the relationship between SCJ and H2PIA. However, it is really amazing how SCJ uses H2PIA as a propaganda. Yes, but depends on characteristic of people. Some openly reveal those information which they gained in confession sessions with each member, and some don't, or do it as a maneuver. It depends. But one sure thing is, if the meeting was on purpose, like pastoral invitation, they mostly report what they heard during the meeting with the member so that others can know, refer to that while communicating with that member. They are sharing the condition, situation, status of a member. They do gaslight people, but I didn't notice this when I was inside SCJ. The most frequent way is they make their members doubt their identity, thoughts, and feelings. They use Bible verse and say, Since you once belonged to Satan, was under Satan, was Satan's children, you need time and effort to become God's children. They educate members that people have two types of components, God and Satan. So they say everyone should train themselves. If their members are against what the leadership commands or have different opinions, they make their members reflect themselves whether they now have Satan's component inside them or not. So they find problems within themselves, not from outside. In my opinion, this causes big psychological problems. When the service is over, they gather and share what they felt. If they should go home right away, then the cell leader asks them to report what they felt. They really care about this much, because by receiving report, they know how that member is doing nowadays, that member's feeling, situation, status of faith, and etc. This applies not only to services, but gatherings and educations as well. They do weekly reports about what they did. For example, how many people they met for recruitment and how much work they did. I didn't really saw this kind of thing, but I know they do spying, reporting on others' misconduct or thoughts. They do feedbacks about their, about their members. When I was a team leader, I did this too. For example, one of the meetings agenda is doing feedback about each member. What is their problem nowadays, how much work they're doing, and if they lack some parts, I did feedback about how to make them do the work, how to stimulate or motivate them. SCJ's doctrine is dichotomy. They divide this world into two parts, good or evil, God or Satan. For me, it was simple, not complicated, so I really liked it. When we look at this world, it is so much complicated. I had so many thoughts, I wanted to find simple and definite answer. But since I left SCJ, I trashed those kind of thoughts. Still, this world is complicated, but now I know that it is still fine if I don't have the definite answer. I just look at issue or situation as it is. Now, I don't divide this world or people into black or white or good or evil. They do educate members to change their image and identity into God's form. They claim those education or teachings are based on the Bible, but they are not. Distorted information are much included. They don't change names. I only saw one case since his name meant dragon's root, 
which is evil according to their doctrine, he changed his name afterwards. But no any force was there, it was just his personal choice. I searched on the dictionary and it says loaded words are a persuasive technique that has also been called emotive language, high inter interference language, or loaded terms. It is often used in order to gain support, sway opinions, degrade others, such as in a political campaign, gain a political foothold, push an agenda. Based on these, SCJ do use loaded language during service, during education. All cults are same. They should have at least one group or organization to degrade them, to blame them, so that their members gather more, become one, in order to fight with that group. Does not really happen in SCJ. Actually, I was involved in and doing work which required me to think a lot, but the flow and purpose of those thoughts were how to make other people understand SCJ doctrine and how to persuade or make them do the work with us. They have their famous slogans. One of them is, we can do it. Not that excessive. No much medication. They just gather every Friday and do the singing, chanting, and prayer. As far as I know, it is similar with normal churches. Purpose wasn't to block thoughts, they just did it for real. Begging and praying for God, feel blessed through singing and chanting. They don't reject this, but if it is unpure, they do care about it. For example, if the member has a pure heart to know the teachings of SCJ doctrine and wants to ask question to seek for an answer, they welcome this. However, if it is to attack SCJ doctrine, they don't welcome this. If that rationalizing, analysis, and critical thinking leads to strengthening their faith in SCJ, they don't reject this. They rather encourage members to do so. Yes, they do. They educate believers if they leave this group, their situation will become worse and they will belong to evil again, become more evil than before. So the members inside that group have a fear of leaving the group. Also, when they see people leaving the group, they think those people are now evil, belong to Satan, and they pity them or hate them. Yes, since they clearly divide good and evil, God and Satan, they do label emotions as evil or sinful. If that emotion is not appropriate in SCJ's point of view, or if that emotion interrupts that member from living the life of faith in SCJ, they label that emotion as evil or sinful. The standard is whether it is good for SCJ or not. They just sometimes counsel members to help them with emotional issues or problems. So I do agree they are doing that with sincere heart, really to help members in need. About preventing homesickness, I didn't experience this since I'm living with my family. Maybe this might apply to foreign members who are in SCJ Korea branch. Naturally, if one commits bad deeds, he or she feels guilty. But if that guiltiness blocks one from doing God's work, which they claim, then they advise that person not to feel guilty. I received many praise and compliments. Back then, those praises and compliments were sincere. I do not think those were fake because one complimenting others is quite difficult. Sometimes they over compliment others when they have to buy that person's heart. In this case, some lies are included. Not really. They sometimes threat their members when leaving their group, but I didn't receive any threats after I left SCJ. I met quite good people inside SCJ, even though I sometimes did wrong things from their perspective or did not obey the orders, they tried to kindly explain to me so that I won't make mistakes in the future again. I somehow felt their sincere heart as if parents are talking to their children. They do educate members to feel happy inside SCJ, that God chose them and brought, called them into SCJ. Instilling thoughts that being in SCJ will make you happy in the end. They instill the hope that there will be no more sorrow, sadness, pain, or death in SCJ if the kingdom is completed. 
I also thought even though I am so tired or emotionally drained or stressful, at least I met God and now I am in SCJ, so I must be happy. As I think of it now, I was sometimes sad, felt overwhelmed, sometimes felt blessed, happy, and confident. So many diverse feelings. But these feelings are what I feel nowadays as well. Even I left SCJ. If SCJ person says I am happy, that's kind of a spell. Definitely, they are sometimes sad, angry, and despair as well. They're human beings with emotions. The reason why SCJ educate members to feel happy and blessed is because once they leave that group, there will be fear if their life will become unhappy and misfortune.